What's the biggest animal that ever lived? You might think it's a dinosaur or maybe a massive whale, but the truth might surprise you. Earth's past is filled with creatures so enormous they defy imagination. Some could crush a truck under their weight, others could stretch across a basketball court. In this list, we'll dive into the 10 largest animals known to science and explore how they grew so big in the first place. Number one, Arthropleura. Arthropleura was one of the largest invertebrates to ever walk the earth. This giant millipede-like creature lived around 300 million years ago during the Carboniferous period and could grow up to eight feet long. It crawled through dense forests, feeding on decaying plant matter, and likely didn't pose a threat to other animals. What's crazy is that despite its huge size, it had no known predators, probably because it was protected by its tough, segmented armor. Fossils of Arthropleura have mostly been found in what's now Europe and North America, giving scientists a fascinating glimpse into prehistoric life before dinosaurs ruled the planet. Number two, Epikion Haydeni. Epikion. Haydeni was one of the biggest prehistoric dogs to ever live. It roamed North America about 15 to 5 million years ago during the Miocene epoch. This massive predator looked kind of like a cross between a wolf and a bear, and it could weigh up to 300 pounds, way bigger than any dog today. Epikion wasn't just big, it had a powerful bite and likely hunted large prey like early horses and camels or even scavenged from other predators. It belonged to a group called bone-crushing dogs, and its jaws were strong enough to snap bones and eat the marrow inside. Today, it's an impressive reminder of how wild and dangerous ancient North America once was. Number three, elephant bird. The elephant bird was a massive flightless bird that lived in Madagascar until about 1,000 years ago. It was one of the heaviest birds ever known standing over 10 feet tall and weighing up to 1,000 pounds, about as big as a small car. These birds laid enormous eggs, some of the largest ever discovered, with shells so thick they could survive for thousands of years. Elephant birds were herbivores, roaming the island's forests and eating plants and fruits. Sadly, they went extinct probably because of human hunting and habitat loss after people arrived on Madagascar. Even though they're gone, Elephant birds still fascinate scientists and bird lovers alike because of their incredible size and mysterious history. Number four, Parapuzosia sepinradensis. Parapuzosia sepinradensis was one of the largest ammonites ever discovered. These ancient sea creatures looked kind of like giant coiled shells and were related to modern squids and octopuses. This particular species lived around 80 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. Fossils show it could grow over eight feet in diameter, basically the size of a grown man lying down. It lived in the ocean and probably floated or swam slowly through the water, using its tentacles to catch small prey. Finding fossils of Parapuzosia is a big deal because it gives scientists a better understanding of how massive marine life was back in prehistoric times. Number five, Gigantopithecus blackie. Gigantopithecus blackie was the largest ape that ever lived. It roamed parts of southern China and Southeast Asia around 2 million to 300,000 years ago. Standing up to 10 feet tall and weighing over 1,000 pounds, this giant would have looked like a supersized orangutan. Scientists believe it mostly ate plants, especially bamboo, kind of like a panda, and spent a lot of time on the ground because of its size. Even though it lived at the same time as early humans, there's no solid evidence they ever crossed paths. Gigantopithecus eventually went extinct, likely due to climate change and food shortages, but its enormous size and mysterious disappearance still capture the imagination of researchers and Bigfoot fans alike. Number six, Titanoboa. Titanoboa was the largest snake to ever slither across the earth. It lived around 60 million years ago, not long after the dinosaurs went extinct in what's now Colombia. This monster snake could grow up to 50 feet long and weigh over a ton, basically the size of a school bus. It lived in hot, swampy jungles and likely hunted giant fish and possibly even crocodile-like creatures. Titanoboa didn't use venom. Instead, it crushed its prey with its powerful coils, just like modern boas and anacondas. Fossils of this snake have helped scientists learn a lot about ancient climates, 
since only super warm environments could support reptiles that big. It's a terrifying and fascinating reminder of how wild the prehistoric world really was. Number seven, Arctotherium angustidens. Arctotherium angustidens was one of the biggest bears to ever walk the earth. It lived in South America during the early Pleistocene, about 2.5 million years ago. This massive bear could stand over 11 feet tall on its hind legs and may have weighed up to 4,000 pounds, way bigger than today's grizzly or polar bears. It belonged to a group called short-faced bears, known for their long legs and powerful build, which helped them run fast and cover large distances. Arctotherium was likely an omnivore, eating a mix of meat and plants, but its size suggests it may have been a dominant predator or scavenger. It went extinct thousands of years ago, but its fossil remains still blow the minds of scientists and wildlife fans alike. Number eight, Sarcosuchus imperator. Sarcosuchus imperator, often nicknamed the super croc, was one of the biggest crocodile-like reptiles to ever live. It roamed the rivers of what is now Africa about 110 million years ago, during the early Cretaceous period. This beast could grow up to 40 feet long and weigh around eight tons, way bigger than any crocodile alive today. Its skull alone was about six feet long, packed with over 100 teeth, and it likely preyed on fish, dinosaurs, or anything that came too close to the water. Unlike modern crocodiles, Sarcosuchus had a long, broad snout and a bony shield on its back for protection. It's one of the most fearsome predators in prehistoric history and a reminder that ancient rivers were just as deadly as the land. Number nine, Paleoloxodon. Paleoloxodon was a prehistoric elephant that included some of the largest land mammals to ever exist. One species, Paleoloxodon nomadicus, might have stood over 15 feet tall at the shoulder and weighed up to 22 tons, possibly even bigger than today's African elephants or mammoths. These giant elephants lived in parts of Asia and Europe during the Pleistocene epoch, and they had massive straight tusks and a domed skull that made them look different from modern elephants. Some species lived on islands and evolved into much smaller dwarf versions due to limited space and resources. Paleoloxodon is a fascinating example of how ancient elephants adapted to different environments, and their fossils help us understand how climate and geography shaped giant animals in the past. Number 10, Lead Zichthys. Lead Zichthys was one of the biggest fish to ever live. It swam the oceans during the Jurassic period around 160 million years ago. This giant could grow up to 50 feet long, about the size of a modern humpback whale. But despite its massive size, Leedzichthys wasn't a fierce predator. Instead, it was a gentle giant that fed on tiny plankton by filtering them through its gill rakers, kind of like how today's whale sharks eat. Fossils have been found mainly in Europe, and they show that this fish had a huge bony skeleton with a wide mouth built for scooping up food. Leedzichthys reminds us that even in the age of dinosaurs, the oceans were home to giants of their own. Number 11, Megalodon. Megalodon was the biggest shark that ever lived and one of the most terrifying predators in Earth's history. It swam the oceans roughly 23 to 3.6 million years ago and could grow up to 60 feet long, about three times the size of a great white shark. With teeth over seven inches long and a bite force strong enough to crush a car, Megalodon hunted whales, giant sea turtles, and pretty much anything else it wanted. It ruled the ancient seas until changes in climate and competition from other predators likely led to its extinction. Even though it's long gone, Megalodon still captures the imagination of scientists and shark fans, and its fossilized teeth are some of the most prized prehistoric finds in the world. Number 12, Titanosaurs. Titanosaurs were some of the largest land animals to ever walk the earth. They were a group of massive, long-necked, plant-eating dinosaurs that lived during the late Cretaceous period, mostly in South America, Africa, and parts of Asia. Some species like Argentinosaurus or Patagodotan may have grown over 100 feet long and weighed around 70 tons, heavier than a dozen elephants. Despite their enormous size, Titanosaurs had relatively small heads and likely used their long necks to reach high into trees or sweep across wide areas of ground for food. Fossils show they had wide, thick legs to support their weight and tails that may have been used for defense. 
Titanosaurs were true giants, and they represent the peak of dinosaur size before the mass extinction wiped them out. Number 13. Whopping Whales Whales are some of the most whopping, gigantic animals on the planet, both today and in Earth's history. The blue whale, for example, is the largest animal to ever live, even bigger than any dinosaur. These gentle giants can grow up to 100 feet long and weigh nearly 200 tons. That's about as heavy as 30 elephants. But whales come in all sizes, from the massive sperm whale with its deep diving skills to the orca, or killer whale, which is actually a giant dolphin. Some ancient whales, like Basilosaurus, were just as impressive, with long, snake-like bodies and sharp teeth. Whether they're filter-feeding krill with giant mouths or using echolocation to hunt in the dark, whopping whales are a true wonder of the ocean world. What do you think about these prehistoric giants? Got a favorite? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss future uploads. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.